Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's Valerie Strongborn here. I'm going to teach you about the crafting system that we have come up with. And we're done with the crafting core process of the crafting. We're going to be adding a lot of items. Right now there's several items that you can make. And this is going to be a tutorial on how the crafting system works. And you're also going to get a free few patterns out of it. Because all patterns have to be learned they are not known by anybody except us and we're not going to pass that information out so the players it's up to the players to learn the patterns and then you can do what you want to with them you can sell them or whatever well here's our crafting table and you'll see these throughout a region that's got the crafting expansion pack so basically you just sit down on now i got several uh, materials right now i'm just going to show you the layout though so you have a 25 space grid is five by five now objects can be put on any of these for example we got small stones this will gather your inventory and your active item will be right here on the left well you can put that anywhere you want to now where it's up to you is i only have three of them so it won't let me do more no more but we got 17 sticks so you can see where you can make a whole lot of things for example, you can make, in the future we're going to have siege weapons and everything that's able to be created by this grid right here. Now I'm going to tell you a little hint about it. It's, it's a lot of common sense, common shape stuff, and then it gets a little more technical too. Now I'm not telling you that that's uh, what's going on. I'm just saying a lot of shapes will be, you know, you can just picture them in your mind and try to make them out. And you just so happen to might learn a pattern. But, uh, well, I got, since I got 11 kindling, I'm going to just show you an example. We can make a, say we, say, mm, I got 11 kindling. Okay, now I'm not saying this is an official pattern. I'm just telling you that, uh, that could be a campfire there. So, uh, so now this wouldn't be a very good example of a campfire. Now, a campfire could be used to, uh, to camp out, heal yourself, rest, or just for role play. But, um, so, uh, what would make sense is maybe kindling in the middle. Then we look for small stones to go on the outsides around this side. I don't have, actually, because I'm not going to give you the, uh, let's see if I have any coal. But this is just an example, so. Uh, we're going to be coming up with a lot of different things. And that icon is not right for coal ore, but we'll just say this was coal. So you can get the idea. Okay, that's just a basic idea. Or let's say, um, let's say you were making a bed. If you, uh, mm, I don't think I got any in here for it, but you could use... We're going to use these as an example as cotton, okay? So the sticks is cotton. You could make, like, that's cotton. And then maybe actual sticks on each corner for a frame. So, so six cottons, four sticks could make possibly a bed. So you get the idea. So you just use your imagination to, to, um, craft things and learn recipes and learn um, patterns because there's going to be tons of them and uh, people's going to be sharing them probably selling them trading them uh, there's going to be epic crafting items like epic swords epic uh, potions and buffs and armors and everything but for the first tutorial or walkthrough we're going to actually craft a conch stone axe now the stone axe can be used to chop away at wood or at stone, which makes it a pretty good tool, but it breaks really easy. Now, <clears throat> just thinking and looking at the diagram over here, well, it's not there anymore, but what would it take to make a stone axe? Now we're talking about ancient time stone axe. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to gather some stones. Even though i got small stones already, we're going to gather small stones. You see, I just click both of them, and they'll disappear. Now, these are bushes or foliage, and through, the, through this foliage, you get 
plant fibers you get um, sticks kindlin leaves you get a bunch of different things it's possible for you to get now we'd want to start by going ahead I got one plant fiber and I got a leaf there let's see what else we can get here walk on up to it a little bit more got two sticks there and these are only for the the beginning items we're allowing you know you to click on the rest you're gonna have to actually attack them and uh, damage them okay so we just picked that stuff there this is a cotton plant which is not done yet but it's that's what it's gonna look like it's gonna be cotton that you can get out of it so basically we've got small stones and we have some plant fibers which plant fibers are used to make rope or string and we have small stones and we have sticks so we're gonna make uh, firstly we have to make the string okay because we're gonna need to take a stick put a small stone on the end of it and tie it to it this is the beginner tool that everybody's gonna have to start out with in order to go on up to a bigger a better um a better tool like a pickaxe or an actual chopping shovel or an axe so plant fibers this is the first pattern you're gonna go plant fiber plant fiber plant fiber plant fiber plant fiber and you'll see right here it says three foot or it's a small rope or small string that's what it is it says do you want to craft small string we want to craft the small string it'll unset you and then we're gonna go ahead and get back on it and we're gonna try to craft a small stone axe now here's small stones so now you might try it this way you might try it this way so you might say hmm well that seems like stick a stick okay and then let me find the small stones because this will be the you could even try a stone which that's that's actually big stones so that wouldn't be no good you need small stones for it so let me find the small stones we got the string now small stone now you could try it like this and you could think hmm okay so how will we tie it together we could put it on this end and put it over here or put it up here so you got to play with the pattern but I'm gonna show you this pattern I'm just trying to explain the different methods of making the pattern so in order to craft the small stone axe you go and you put small stones here that's your small stone that's the tip of your axe okay you put sticks one two three in a line that's the handle of your axe and you guessed it you put string to tie the axe together here I think yeah that makes a small stone axe or a stone axe it says do you want to craft a conch stone axe I'm gonna leave it here just for a minute so you can see if you need to come back and look at it this is a small stone axe which is your first step in gathering better materials better minerals metals gold silver rubies diamonds the list is gonna be endless and it's gonna be crazy what we come up with so there you go now we would complete that and now you'll see here that um, let me go pause this for just a second okay so now well heck um i didn't have my hud on but that don't matter uh, because it's automatically added to your inventory so but i forgot to wear my hud but um, anyway, I'm going to call on the head and get it so we can see it in our inventory. And you can also see that, um, so it's going to be little here, but you'll see, if you click, click, click through, you'll see conch stone axe right here. There's this axe that we've crafted just then. And then if we look in our crafted items, you see all these items now. Um, i got to fix that icon there, but... So you can 
go over it and see small string, stone, and the number of what you got leaf uh, plant fibers, which we got four of them. Tons of logs. This is for me doing um, tests and stuff. But so we have us a small stone axe. So we're gonna go ahead and equip it because we want to start mining some better things like logs, iron silver gold anything we can find but now if you need some small stones feel free to collect this as it's appearing because it'll go away and you have to wait you know a good while before you can get any more i mean if you're you know i like to stock up on stuff when it's available so you never know when you're gonna need <clears throat> more plant fibers so you see i'm getting four sticks plant fibers and all that Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go over here to this rock, and you'll see it says resources remain 25. Now, that count's not going to affect, but it will turn to depleted once it's empty. But now the thing about this rock here, and we're going to make changes and all that, but, you know, better looking rocks, different color rocks, maybe ore rocks that's like ore veins of iron and stuff like that. But for now, this is just the example of how it's rolling. So we're going to go ahead and equip our stone axe like if you try to attack this block with a a weapon or anything like that it won't work the only way to get anything out of this rock is to have either a like a stone axe or an actual pickaxe or something like that now the difference in a pickaxe and a stone axe is that stone axe is made way cheaper and it's going to break a lot faster than this than the actual axe would or the pickaxe would so I'm going to go ahead and draw it. And look at our little ancient days stone axe. So this is what you crafted was this little stone axe here. And as you can see, that's not going to stay together very, very well. We're going to see how much we can get out of this rock. So we hit it. Now we're going to be in character. So character, I see. And we're going to go ahead and bam. And I broke it on the first swing. Can you believe that? Now, this uh, break percent chance is about 10%. So it shouldn't, or I, it may be more, a little more, maybe 25%. But it shouldn't have broke that fast. But it was our luck that it did. So guess what? We're going to have to craft another one. Now, if you see what it says, it says... You have broken this tool. You must repair it. So you can repair the axes. So we're going to try to repair the axe instead of making another one. Now, how would we repair this axe? Hmm. Okay. Well, how about we put... I forgot myself, but I think I can figure it out. Okay, so broken conch stone axe. I think it may be one axe in the middle. There's your broken axe. And I think it may be, I can't remember really. So I'm going to play with it. string, possibly. Yeah, I'm going to have to look, so let me unpause it. It's not going to need stone. I think it's actually sticks. And then maybe, um, it could be, let me try this again. It could be. That nope. Okay, let me pause it so I can find because you're gonna learn this recipe also. So let me just pause it so I can get the recipe. Okay, so I figured it out, and we're back. So now we're gonna try to repair our stone axe. So we're gonna use a stick, a stick, the actual stone axe because you can see on the icon it broke on the handle and on the stone part. So you can see it broke on the handle and the stone broke. So we're going to use, we're going to get the stone axe there. See where it broke at? Now the rope's salvageable. So we're not going to have to have any rope. We're just going to have to have another stone up there. So this is what it was. So we put a small stone here. And there you go. It says, do you want to craft a conch stone axe? So now instead of having to break down plant fibers in order to make string to make another stone axe, you've repaired this one. So complete. <clears throat> and there we go 
Okay, so now let's go try to try to dig dig some more. So equip it should be right in your menu now. If ever you know that you crafted something or made something, it is there. Constone X. And it doesn't show up automatically. We added this update. It'll automatically update your stats anytime, your inventory and everything. So uh Alright, so let's draw all this. Let's see how our luck goes this time. And it broke. I cannot believe that. And of course, like I said, we're going to have to do some tweaking probably on some things. But let me go ahead and make another one real fast. So I came up. Stone goes here. So y'all should be able to remember this pattern by the time I get done redoing them all. One, two. Broken stone axe, put that there. There you go, complete. And that's save. I mean, it's saving you resources when you when you make it your when you repair it. But you can also make a new one. But let's see if this works better this time, because it really needs to. Oh, I gotta equip it first, so it should be in my inventory under tools. Hold it down for two seconds, release it, accept attachment, draw, come on now, oh my lord, did I mess up the stone axe, hmm, I'm going to cheat a little bit, I'm just going to get another one real fast, so we can try to, uh, See, if it does it again, then I'll just have to tweak that. Because it shouldn't be busted. It shouldn't do that. But, uh. We'll see here. Nothing ever goes as planned whenever you're on a video. Huh? Okay, yeah, it's breaking every time. Oh my god. Let's go see if it'll do anything to this tree over here then. Get another one. So let me hit this. Ah. Oh my lord. So it's let me. Well let me beat, beat away on a tree for one or two hits. But you get the idea there. That's the the stone axe pattern. And that's that's going to get you started. And, and we'll tweak it to where it don't break as fast. But it is going to break on you. Okay let me show you one more example of crafting things. I'm going to actually equip the pickaxe just to show you. Because I'm not going to show you the pattern to build it. And you'll have to learn that yourself. So let me find it here. Oh, that's a chopping axe. We'll go ahead and get a chopping axe and a pickaxe. It's shell icons, but this is just a demonstration. So now I put this marker here because you can see a little floating text there. That means there's a rock down there. Okay. <laughs> and you guessed it. Now we're going to have more valuable objects like like I was saying um, veins that, that the region owners can put under the ground and they can do quests or give hints on where something may reside and the players would need to di get a digging shovel first before they could actually get to it but we're gonna go ahead and equip the digging shovel and we're gonna dig down there to whatever this is and of course you have to be in character and out of character you have to draw it and all that stuff so there you go now in order to use this shovel once you craft it you'll get it just like this and you can walk around with it in order to dig where you're digging want to dig at you'd stand right here and like cam into it touch the button and it'll ask for a target which is you and you'll start digging now you'll collect dirt during this process also and dirt can be used for fertilizer and other things so we're going to dig down here 
sorry this video is taking so long but it's a whole lot of exciting stuff going on we're gonna be chopping trees down digging for minerals gold actual food corn um cloth from cotton and walls actual walls now the shovel says you must take a short rest before dig anymore so you have to wait and the shovel does have a break chance too but this one does not so we're not gonna have to go through that right now and you can also repair the shovel so anything you craft you can repair you know and you can also scrap a lot of things some things you can't but say you have a lot of uh you know pickaxes that's broke well you could probably figure out some kind of pattern on there to where you could get some iron or either iron or something like that from it. wood you know sticks or you can scrap some things down so you can break them back down so anyways let's um wait on this thing to let me start digging again and we can look here underground and see that the rocks right there we got a good ways to go but hopefully i'll get there in just a second so we start digging again yes and then of course you'll get better shovels better pickaxes that do faster digging faster mining don't break as easy things like that and you'll have to just learn to craft them there'll be something you know some addition to it instead of it being wood and iron it'll be wood iron and some sort of oil or you know something like that so you your your imagination is the limit right now and any suggestions on um the type of things y'all want to see us make for the crafting available we have tons of ideas right now <clears throat> we're actually going to be making um wood frames to where you can actually build, actually build a fort out of these and they'll be destructible so whenever you craft them you'll actually receive a block that's the size that you crafted in there'll be like four by six blocks and then eight by eight blocks and things like that that you use your materials to craft and then you can set them out so say you use pvp in or you use battling well you can make yourself a fort out of comp materials and then the people pursuing you or npcs or whatever to have to break through that in order to get to you another example siege weapons you know um, we, you, you're going to be able to craft yourself a siege engine in the future and yes it's going to take a lot of materials but you know um, it's going to actually be able to fire um, balls of fire and big rocks and all that stuff at, at a forts or blocks that players have made to where you can damage their fort or their thing we're hoping that players will actually build cool looking uh you know forts and stuff out of what they've crafted so we're going to have some cool looking walls that you can make some angled you know wood some steps all that stuff like that so like i said this is the beginning stages of the crafting and and it's really awesome okay i see the I see the rock now so I think I might dig one more time just to clear it out just a little bit more and um so like the sky's the limit with this I mean anything you can think of to create we can add it to to the system and make it actually creatable and then it's gonna get epic like with weapons that's dipped in gold and platinum and uh, you know have some kind of magical properties imbued in them you know because we're going to also include magic in the game in the future so <laughs> the world's the limit and not only the medieval times we're going to even go on up to futuristic and mid modern day times like gunpowder bullets guns uh, molds that you make like gun casing you know like the gun shape the hole and the stock and all that so yeah it's gonna be pretty crazy man so you should get in while you can get in because it's going to get awesome. And thanks for watching and uh, taking the time to look at this. And I'm going to try to just dig this little bit out so I can go ahead and try to mine with the pickaxe. And see how well we do with it. And it also has a pretty 
bad break tents because it's just a cheap pickaxe but we'll have different levels and better um type you know pickaxes and things so yeah all right so let's try to i can't even see me now so i'm gonna go and mouse well first i'm gonna detach this oh. and all these um broken stone axes on here so I found a little bug there. I'll have to fix that. I'll have to put that in the list to do. And again, this is under beta or development, so we still have a few little issues to work out. But we're gonna go ahead and load this pickaxe up, and we are going to draw it. We're gonna go in mouse view, and I'm gonna try to. I missed. My luck, it's gonna um, break or something right off the bat. And I missed again. Oh no. Ah, I received two stones. See, now we're getting into the stone, the coal, iron. Received one stone. Now, this is just like real world. You're gonna hold oh, a ruby. That's really rare, man. I can't believe that it just happened. There's some more stone. And you'll see that it's going to be depleted lead. There's lead ore, which makes lead ingots. So we're going to see what we can get out of here. We're even getting small stones from it. And stone's going to be your primary uh, material you get because you're digging through stone to get to other stuff. Three small stones. So... Or stones but stone is also good too you can make concrete you can make cement you can make blocks concrete blocks to make a block wall and we already have block walls and everything actual concrete blocks in it to where it's just stone made out of stone and I missed so see so you can uh, I don't know why it's not wanting to hit it may be depleted though, let's see. There should be some sort of floating text over it saying if it's depleted. Oh yeah, it's depleted, see? So when you notice that you're not getting anything else, that means it's depleted. And we're probably gonna add the effect of it going transparent or something like that. And it'll take a few minutes, but there's another one right over here. So we're gonna run over here and we're gonna mine this one. Now, um, I'm liable to get a break on my pickaxe at any time there's a coal ore right now oops right now our um, most valuable items are diamonds and uh, let's see rubies which I just got and they're gonna be worth like a lot of conk coins and stuff and you can do some awesome things with them as far as weapon wise so there's a bunch of tricks and secrets up our sleeve but we got coal so we're getting a good amount of stuff off of this and i'm probably going to end up breaking the axe soon but for now i mean the pickaxe but for now you get the point it's uh it's uh See what else we get. I'm just gonna do it two more times and then that's it for this video. So I know I already went made it small now. We'll deplete this one out and then that'll be it. But thanks everybody for watching and I hope everybody else. Um if you hadn't came to our sim and checked out our system, it's a great combat system. Check out the other videos and it is depleted. Uh, like us, share it, whatever you want to do. You know, if you want this on your sim, just send me an IM in a Kitely, Valeria Strongborn, or comment on the videos or whatever, and we'll see about getting it over there. Uh, you can look at it on the marketplace also on Kitely, so I'll leave that link. And uh, this is the crafting part, which is an expansion, but the actual combat system is all working and ready. And I'd say if you hadn't watched any of those videos, check them out. All right, thanks, and we'll see you later. Sorry about the link. Bye-bye.